Okay. So, uh, I'm going to cook emergency food now. Um, a very quick one. Uh, the first ingredient is about a cup of water and then a cream of corn. So, there. Or cream style corn. So, I added a little water because I guess it's a little thick. Okay, it's too thick to be a soup. Okay, there. And then let's wait for it to simmer. Mix it and wait for it to simmer. So there, after a f about maybe five minutes, it's already simmering, so I will just lower the fire to low one. Then we will, I will add maybe just one fourth or a half teaspoon of salt. So you taste it and a dash of black pepper, and that's enough for me. So guys, you can add, uh, You can add bacon, you can add potatoes, but if you add potatoes, you should boil the potatoes first until it's soft and easily mashed, and then before you add your corn, okay? And you can even add, mix a cream of corn, cream of mushroom, okay? You can add fried bacon, or just put the bacon right here, okay? You don't need to fry it. Sausages, maybe, yes, you can. So there, let me just low heat. I've added two eggs, okay? But if you want to taste the corn plainly, plain flavor, and you're tired of eating a lot of junk foods, meat, and vegetables, this, this can be a break and a refuge to, for a different, uh, to, Make a difference on your meal, daily meal, okay? So there, it's delicious and it's, I guess it's a little sweet, but, but I will add a little salt and that's it, okay? And you can eat it with bread and I have a bread that I made. Okay, so very quick and easy. So before, you can add more black pepper if you want. And uh, what do you call that? Mm, olive oil if you want before you eat it, okay? And cheese, parmesan, okay? There, just be creative. So there, uh, you you try to enjoy the corn soup, okay? Because that's delicious. So usually we w we cook that during my childhood, but it's the natural corn, and they grind it or they pound it until it's crushed, okay? And then we boil it and add uh, our malungay leaves or vegetables, okay? So you can add vegetables on it, not, not just meat. So it's up for your creativity, okay? You can add crabs, you can add shells, whatever you want. So, But if you want it plain, so to just to take a break, okay, from the usual foods that you've been eating, and that's all right, okay? And it's delicious. And of course, not everyone will like it, especially here in the Philippines, but I guess people abroad would like it better. But if you're here in the Philippines, you'd rather make it a little bit sweeter, okay? So there. So, any insights? My insights? Okay. So in my in the past days or recent days, okay, and past months too. So you know that I am not 
I'm not talking or I'm not making my videos uh, or talking against people without them provoking me okay so today we are we are going to talk about those evil women okay this empty miserable evil women these women uh, are whatever how whatever they how you want them to look um, these women usually want me to engage with have a stable relationship with uh, guys okay that they have chosen for me but unfortunately they are not my type because these women would want me to engage with alcoholic alcoholic men broken men immature men and sorry to say I don't say this but yeah poor men okay and we don't have a choice but you know when you are fighting you must also break again yeah, it's true you must also break the spirit of your enemies because you know the reason because they just want me they just want to look on how I would deal on those kinds of men they don't realize my well-being and my health and my emotional well-being my mental well-being and my health okay so so what what are the signs of these women what kinds of women are these devious, devious women and yes uh, they come in many forms they can be religious they can be pregnant okay they can be poor they can be rich okay so there so what are these kinds of women how do you see that they're evil and uh, that they're like these women who are doing this to me okay so and yes they would even get angry to me and shout at me before and it's worst okay so uh, these women usually have broken the law okay there are problems with the law okay like uh, you know any any kind of breaking the law okay okay because you know and just any kind okay just like other people okay they have broken the law uh, not only once okay but a few times you know but they're consciously they consciously know that they've broken the law okay so that's one and so and another trait of this women they're emotionally and mentally unstable so breaking the law is a sign that they are mentally and emotionally unstable okay and another sign of these women and our trait of these women they are they have broken relationships okay broken relationships with their former husbands or their present husbands okay or their boyfriends okay they have very unstable relationship with their uh, partners very unstable not well you see them always fighting always arguing okay and they're always miserable together and yes they're proud that at least they have someone and that's one reason they are pushing guys to me okay and then they you can usually see that these people I these women have uh, they have torn children broken children alcoholic children or children with misbehaviors okay or p children with uh, sh uh, dysfunctional sexual orientation okay and, and then you know another trait of these women they are financially unstable okay they are poor some are rich but many are poor even if you see them with a car or a house but if you see their network if they cannot pay their bills or you subtract what they have with their debts they would they would be poor okay so 
you can see that, okay? Uh, just observe your surroundings, okay? So these women usually are the, another trait are, they usually are the ones uh, working so hard just to make the family survive, okay? And they're proud of it and doing like that, but if you look at it, it's also their fault, okay? Because what are the their choice of men? Alcoholic men, they are usually with alcoholic husbands, even or gam who gambles also, or if their their husbands are not alcoholic, they're womanizers or they're closeted. They have uh, they engage with their fellow men, their husbands have uh, questionable sexuality or gender. They have questionable uh, masculinity, okay? And yes, usually their men are poor, okay? So there. Uh, um, so remember, I'm saying these things because I also want to break the spirit of of those people around me who's been doing this to me for years and years and years okay remember that this is not my situation is not just a month a week but it's years and years it's even decades okay okay so uh, another sign is that their men are so mentally unstable and yes that's why they really want me to have a man like that because they want to know how to deal with those men maybe because they want how to deal with those with their husbands or boyfriends okay and they're so mad at me because maybe because why is it that you just a trans woman okay I'm just a trans woman and yet I don't want to be with those kinds of men and they would even say it's self-respect to keep a man like that. But I guess it's it's not really the, that reason they're just covering up their mistakes in life. So whatever their mistakes are, they want me to do that. So I won't talk against them, okay? So another trait of these women is that they have a questionable gender orientation okay so it's either they're also bisexual they have they have engaged in a sexual relationship with their fellow women before or or they just don't know themselves okay and they insist on befriending me and you know they also insist other women on me but you know these kinds of women are fake friends they are usually they are fake moms they are fake you know usually in in the way they deal with people is always fake because just imagine even if they're godly why would they do that to me if they are godly or good people okay nobody no good no good or godly person can even do that they will just leave me alone i think a good person or a godly people God the person would say I'll just leave her alone I have my own life right who is Reina anyway he's just a person like me right I'll just leave her alone because Reina is not harming me Reina is not doing anything from me even if she said something it doesn't mean that it's about me okay especially if she didn't say anything I uh, she didn't name anyone uh, even if she said something wrong about me well I would have said something wrong about her too right I would a good person would think that but them I don't know what they're thinking and these women are vindictive okay so be careful with these kinds of women and uh, just limit the yes it's true actually I am avoiding being with these kinds of women and yes look at that they even use their children okay to harass a person or to uh, what do you call that um, 
bad mouth a person. You see? So, no good person, especially in this Christian country, no Christian, I guess, would even do that. But these people are really Christians. You see? So, your religion or your Christianity doesn't guarantee that you are good or you're sane. So, there. What else? Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at my notes. They are weird, yeah. So, there. And as you can see, their men are usually just like them. And these women also are, many of them are also alcoholic and gamblers. And yes, many of them do not know how to handle their uh, finances okay it's either they are in debt or they are just very loose with money so I hope you've learned something from this video and it would open your eyes that you will not just because these people are singling me out so I will just single them out in these videos so at least you know uh, who to befriend or who to be close with because being close with these people are not okay okay because they would use everything you know what what i'm saying for example anything good that i'm saying when i'm making conversations these women are going to use it pretending that they that that the trait or even what i'm doing everything that i'm doing or saying that is good all my traits, they want to emulate it and when I talk to them and when I interact with them, they they would even use it. Okay, so it means they're not sane or they're not good. Okay, because appreciating a person, uh, you would appreciate a person when you are with the person in many years, not like when you're a stranger or when you know that even if he, if they're your sisters or your mom, when you know that they are just imitating your positive traits and you know that they are not really that observant to you, okay? So you can just know that they're just imitating everything about you. So just to be close about you. So be careful about that. Uh, just to be close to you. So be careful about that, okay? So there. Be very, very careful with these kinds of people. And the situation here is like insanity. It's just like mass hysteria, mass insanity. And you don't know. It's crazy. And the reason is because I don't belong. I belong. I just go with, I can go with anyone. Rich, poor, LGBT, the religious. But I just limit myself in getting a lot. Uh, in belonging to people because as you grow older your perception to life changes and you become choosy to the people you interact with right so there and I don't know these people really think that they're very entitled to you know to to be befriended by a person by all people or to be loved by all people okay so be careful about those kinds of people or women so there, see you again on my next video and I hope we'll cook something better next time, okay?